Ishmael Johns with Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here with UTEP's big man, Praise Amawale. Yes, How you doing, man? Pretty good, man. How you doing, Ishmael? Doing good, doing good. So I want to I wanna take you back a little bit to last season. Obviously, sure. a huge year for the program. You guys finally knock over that, that barrier you've been trying to get to, get to a bowl. What was it like just experiencing that, especially after 2020, where you guys were having to travel for home games, right, and all that stuff, to do that in 2021? It most definitely felt good and uh, coming in here to, to a program that was 0 and 12 the year before. You feel me? And won 11 my freshman year and won 11 the next year after that. You feel me? We definitely came, uh, you know, overcame a, a lot. You know, just to be where we are this year. You feel me? Just you know, just being patient. You know, just sticking to the course, and just trusting God. You feel me? That's all I gotta say. Just trusting God and just believing. You know, believing in your ca uh, the coaches, believing in my teammates as well. You feel me? Just having that you know mentality that you know. Cause I, I didn't want to go to a program where like you know things were just handed to me. I, I wanted to you know be a part of you know, like, kind of like, like like a revolution or something like that. So just you know, it feels good to you know turn a program around. So yeah. yeah. What's it like playing for a program like UTEP that has you know El Paso is such an insular community. You know it's it's kind of, it's very close knit because it's so far away from everybody. Yeah. So like what's it like playing for a commu uh, program that really represents a community like that? It's pretty dope because there's no professional sports teams out there. You feel me? So it's really just us. We're the celebrities. You know, the kids look up to us. You know, the parents always showing love, man. So I really love my time at El Paso, man, because the, the city of really just embraced us. You know, as a whole, it's just as just regular people, not, not just as athletes as well. You feel me? So it feels pretty good to go out there each and every day and just have that that support and that love from the fans, you know. And I, I, they got minor stuff as like the minor league baseball and the minor league soccer, but it's not the same as football, you know, because Americans really Americans really love football. So be able to be out there and be the, the, the El Paso's team you know, for football is, is definitely an honor. You feel me? Yeah. Now take me to week zero. You know, you guys are playing in North mm -hmm. Texas. So first of all, is this the st earliest you've ever started practice and all this stuff? Um, not really, because I think we had a week zero schedule last week, no, last season as well. So it, I'm, I'm kind of used to it now. Football is a 365 thing, man. It really ain't no break. So I, it doesn't really matter because, like, we've been working out all summer, so we've kind of been itching to get them past. So it's kind of, you know, good for everybody's getting past early, you know. So, yeah, yeah. it feels good to be, be, be having a week zero game as well, you know. So now take me – what are you picturing for that home game? Because I know tickets are selling right now. Like, it's, it's going to be hype. You're obviously coming off the hype from last season. What do you what do, what do you have something in mind? Because I remember like the game that stands out to me is that UTSA game where it was like yeah, huge rocking stadium yeah, yeah. things like that. Do you have anything? Can you imagine what it's gonna be like? Yeah, I, I already know, man. Cause like I always have I always dream about this, you know, as a kid and just even right now as an adult, you know, I always dream about a a pack. Cause that's so walking into the walking into the the UTEP facility, mm -hmm. it's a picture on the wall of just like a sold out sumbo from like a couple of years ago, man. So that image has always been in my head. So just being able to see that and being able to see us bringing it to reality, you know, it's definitely a great feeling. So in my head, I'm, I'm just, I just want to see the crowd just losing it, man. Like it's a, like it's a WWE slash like, slash like, what's this Co Co Coachella? So yeah. it's like a WWE slash Coachella <laughs> concert, man. I, I need y'all to bring all that energy, man. So just being able to go out there and make a play, maybe third down, having a big play, a, a strip sack, just a touchdown, just having the crowd just lose it, man. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing, man. And not, not just the week zero, just every every other good home game. You know, y'all go out there and buy your tickets. And I'm not playing either, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not good. Buy your tickets, man. I'm not playing with y'all, for real. You telling, that, you telling that man no? For real. Oh, you better not tell me no, man, for real. <laughs> All right, so I love El Paso. I've been out there a couple times. All right, if I if I hit you up, where are we going to eat? What are we going to eat, man? Um, L&J's. Oh, L&J's. My guy. Yes, sir, man. And I always got some like some small spots that I also know about, so I got you, man. Some, some spots downtown, some local businesses. What you got? Shout them out. Um, shout them out. So I want to give a shout out to Anointed, Anointed Cuisine. That's a Nigerian restaurant because I'm Nigerian. So shout out to Anointed Cuisine for making them Nigerian food for me, man. Keep my keep my tummy happy. You feel me? <laughs> That's what's up. All right. So uh, Whataburger. Are you are you breakfast or dinner guy? I'm a breakfast guy, man. So I don't like the fact that they don't do all day breakfast. But, you know, they, they would take over the world if they did all day all break. They can't do that. So I don't know. Like, I literally go to sleep and put an alarm on my phone for, like, 11 p.m. so I can wake up when it's time for breakfast and go get me a taquito with cheese, chorizo, man. Stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> Love my taquitos, man. But, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. If me and you hop in, it's going to be a long car, but long car ride. But me and you hop in the car, go to UTEP. Mm -hmm. What's going to be the thing you're playing most if I hand you the ox? Um, depends on how I'm feeling because I, I have a lot of music taste because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a drummer. So I listen to a lot of music, man. But for me, for me and you, probably my middle school playlist with some Katy Perry, you know, some 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 <laughs> Selena Gomez here and there. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of songs, man. Just just feel good music, man. Yeah. Just makes you happy. Not all that, you know, 
I mean, rap is cool because yeah. you hear that every time, though. You right. feel me? So just switch it up a little bit, you know. Some some pop, you know. You feel me? Just get get you, you know, <laughs> feeling good. Yeah. Get you, is that on your uh, pre-game playlist too? Oh, is yeah. that what you? Oh yeah, I, I got I got music for everything, man. But yeah, just just songs that just make me feel you know ha- just happy, man. Because yeah. I, I like being happy. You feel me? So just yeah. You listening to Selena, Selena Gomez before you get eight sacks in a game? Or what's up with that? Yeah, when you're ready, come get it. Nah, 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 nah. That's what I tell the quarterback, man. When you when you're ready, come get it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm me. <laughs> All right, that's all I got for you. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir.